Dude, you broke your computer. Look what you did. I told you not to install those. All right, I'll stop. Uh, obviously, there's nothing wrong with your computer. See, th this is what happens when you, you know, spend all day or most of the day drinking, you know, caffeine like coffee and Coke, and then you have nothing better to do and get crazy with your Linux desktop. Hello, welcome back to Toss Today. All right, well, this is going to be part uh, three in the final part on the Linux desktop, or more specifically desktop effects for dummies, beginners, and stuff like that. So in the first two, we talked about how to get started with uh, a CCSM, the Compass Configuration uh, Manager. Part two, we looked at the fire stuff or the flaming mouse and wobbly windows, wobbly like you see here, whoa. And for this final one, part three, we will take a look at one of the most popular desktop effects in a Linux desktop called the cube. And if you don't know what that is, there you go, you are cubed. All right, so I got this working, the Ubuntu Linux uh, 12.04. So uh, you may uh, wanna pause the video here and take a look at this or jot this down, but uh, this is basically what's involved, at least how I successfully got this to work. All right, it's been tested on Ubuntu 12.04 LTS with all the updates installed, or most of the updates installed anyway. Uh, CCSM, of course, installed, uh, enable the uh, Unity plugin, desktop cube enabled, uh, Sky Dome, appearance, uh, rotate cube, general options, and desktop size. Now, these are ne not necessarily in specific order. I just wanted to show you here of what's involved. So what we'll do here is go to the um, configuration, the Compass Configuration Manager. And as always, the little warning comes up. CCSM is an advanced tool. Use it with caution. And if you don't want this to show next time, you can just click, you know, unclick this, show this warning next time. But it's important that you know this if you have never messed with this before. All right, so take, let, let's take a look here one by one and see what we have. All right, obviously I have my Ubuntu 12.04 CCSM enabled. Now we need to enable the Unity plugin. So at the search bar here, okay, click Ubuntu Unity plugin. Here at the bottom left, it is highlighted. It's been clicked, all right. Next one is the desktop cube. Okay, so we'll go to the desktop. And you can see I have the desktop cube already clicked. Go back. Uh, actually, let's see, we need to go to, let's go to uh, appearance. Okay, and you can change the colors here. And uh, Sky Dome is under the appearance module here. So we click uh, Sky Dome and I already chose a picture a JPEG picture in, in my situation I just used the total OS today logo okay so that's all well and good oh let's see what's next rotate cube so we click that okay then finally we go to a general options here and uh, let's go to let's see what's left desktop size now, I am by no means an expert on this. If there were, there are two things I don't really mess a lot with with Linux. Uh, desktop special effects, which is cool, and gaming, which is cool also. I just don't have a, a lot of time to uh, dig deeply into those type of things that you can do in Linux. But this is how I got this to work, and I hope I didn't miss anything here. So, and the, the horizontal virtual size is four by one by one like i said there are other settings here i uh what you see here i just again i left everything in default uh you know i was afraid if i started messing with this i might break something and then i have to go back and try and fix it um i do have highlighted open glide 
plugin and uh, I believe I stated in part two that you do need a 3D uh, capable graphics card if, if you don't have have that this is probably not going to work now assuming that you have all this all this enabled you should be good to go so and the way you do this is uh, control alt the left mouse button and you can see here I go left right up and down I think you get a picture here on how this works and that's it this is how you rotate the cube in Ubuntu Linux uh, the thing I was showing before with the rotating screen I believe it was control alt and I was holding the uh, the left key left arrow key or the right arrow key as you can see here anyway that's it this is how you do a mess with or enable uh, desktop special effects in Linux uh, let me know how it works out with you as always uh, a caution it's possible that this can break your system somebody had commented that the developer has stopped updates with compass as this will not be supported uh, I believe in the the Linux distribution of um, which will bring out which will uh, feature Mir. Uh, but I in 12.04 up to 13.10, I believe it does work. Even though I have only tested this successfully in 12.04, I just want to give you guys a heads up. Uh, another option you may want to try is something called Kwin just like it sounds I have not tested it don't know much about it but for now what you see here is what I have working well that's it thank you so much for watching and listening to this quickie tutorial and as always guys I will catch all of you sometime in the future